Okay. Good morning, Mr. Pradi. Today we are going to do the presentation for the brand management for Nintendo. First of all, I would like to introduce my team member first, Mr. Chen Ning, Ms. Eleanor Ho, Mr. Yong Man Heng, and Mr. Sun Ken Lee. And next, we are going to pass it to uh, Chen Ning to explain us, to give us an overview on the market. Okay, the focus of the 2015 years was predicted a growth of 9 cents, which generating 19.2 billion in revenues. However, we need to take further insight on the growth of the mobile drivers, mobile business. Well, where well, the smart, well, the smartphone handheld device and the tiptoes are giving most favorable growth in past years, which means the next marketing intense of heavenless survivors generation generation would be our target audience. Some post Economic developers can play a perilous role as the game change. VR is uh, giving a gentleman of hope to a vulnerable gaming cancellor, cancellor to be obsolete. Together, we serve well gentlemen of for a reverse of the 107 billion in the 2017 years. Okay, next page is from the daily form. Next, let's take a closer view on the global gaming market. And we can see that uh, the China and the USA is predominating the global revenue growth. However, we would like to focus on the APEC market because it's indicating a huge potential growth in the next five years. And next, we would like to study about the major gaming trend uh, currently. First of all, the consumer direct involvement. Because uh, the consumer, they create the content through the gameplay, and that's where the pleasant experience is generated. However, they, they tend to like to share the experience on the so-called internet, and therefore, the consumer is the creator of the trend itself. Next, we like to cannot ignore the business market, because we can see that the industry is facilitating the needs. Most importantly, because hardware is supplier as a platform, to provide a platform to the, to the gameplay so the consumer is able to use it to generate the games. However, the games developer itself, um, they produce a game content that interesting enough to be shared and on the video to stream it uh, to the video industry like uh, the social network like YouTube or the Twitter, Facebook, they're able to stream and they provide a so-called platform, a space for them to share the, the experience on. Therefore, industry will become the facilitator. However, we cannot forget the world tendency, what will happen in the world. First of all, we like to talk about the social and business connectivity because first of all, gamers are interconnect each other and the consumer and business together, they have, they have fostered further opportunities in the gaming market. Next, we will look, take a look at the social and the business collaboration because the social collaboration, they promote the brand and the product. However, the business collaboration is exploring new and opportunity in the industry. For the economy, pricing, intellectual property, partnership, and etc., how they're able to work to, in order to prove the, the trend, to bring the trend and the, uh, the, the global revenue growth, because um, they have driven the revenue on the in apps uh, purchase. However, the partnership between the business uh, able to bring to anticipate your consumer needs. And finally, the inter intellectual property has become a major strain, um, so it becomes a major stake to strike bigger revenue growth. Therefore, accelerator, that all of this government together, they will be accelerated to bring the consumer and the industry together. So, in order to summarize, it's a convergence of the three major components, creator, facilitator, and accelerator, they're able to bring further global revenue growth. 
Next, I would like to pass it to the Taurus Monkey okay, to uh, explain us about the company profile. Yeah, good morning, everyone. So, I would like to talk about the company background story. Actually, Nintendo is started by 1889. The first name of the Nintendo company is uh, Hanafuda. The first product is not a gaming console, the first product is a uh, playing cards. So, they are transforming year by year to the end, start from 1974 and to 1976. They started to develop a K game, game and video game system and exporting to Europe and America. Okay, the next slide is the product attributes. Uh, based on the Nintendo company, there's a very strong history background. So, Nintendo has pro uh, produced a lot of products such as uh, the first product is the playing card, the second product is started to a gaming system, uh, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, and Nintendo 3DS, and Nintendo Wii, Wii U, and the coming product is called Nintendo Switch. So the pricing, Nintendo, Nintendo company choose a geographical pricing and also the competition based pricing. Based on a geographical pricing, because different countries have different rules and regulations and based on the currency as well. So uh, as we can know, as we research, the price of the Nintendo product is cheaper than the other competitors uh, such as Sony and Microsoft. So placement, placement. Nintendo choose indirect channel because in Malaysia, Nintendo do not have any direct store to sell their product, they are using indirect channels such as gaming, sh gaming shop and some of the retail shop to, to purchase their product. So in other ways, Nintendo also use an online store so the, the public can purchase their product from internet as well. So the next is promotions. Nintendo using game as exhibition to promote their product as well. They are providing some of the new things, new product to let the public experience it. And they will use, uh, they will promote their new features and, and so on to, their, uh, to the public and let the public understand and experience, it, experience the enjoyment of their product. So the next, I will pass to my next member, Sun Yen Li. Next slide is a competitor analysis. For the Nintendo, they are the two major competitors for the Nintendos. For, uh, the first one is Microsoft Xbox, and another is Sony PlayStation. <laughs> In these two companies have a strong brand image and a company image because they does not just focus on game, gaming console. They, for the Microsoft Xbox, the first product in their company is a computer software and game console in year 2005 year. next is sony playstation the main the main product is the focus in electronic such as the machine washing machine phone and tv and so on in these two major competitors for the Marketing activities, they are using the advertising, sales promotion, public relation, and online social marketing. For example, advertising, they are using the billboards, print, and broadcast to promote their company and the brand image. Next is sale promotion. At the game show or export or track show or road show, they give the free dis free gift or discount to purchase their product. Next is public relation. Public relation is talking about the design competition or tournament for the consumer or customer for their for to increase their brand image or product knowledge in and information. Next is online social marketing. For example, they are using social network such as the Facebook, Twitter, Instagram to promote to launch their product and so on. And it also, they use the broker and forum to let the consumer and customer to communicate with each other to know about the product or information. Next, I will pass to my groupmate, Eleanor. 
Right, um, like I said just now, we had questionnaires distribu distributed to everybody and this is the results yielded. For the brand perceptions level, the different qualities which are warmth, innovation, fun and value, we can see that fun actually takes up most of the most of the population. Which is seventy percent of the people actually feel fun when they're playing uh, when they play games uh, related to Nintendo. And you can see that whenever they play, whenever they play this video game that resonates within their within their within themselves, they feel warm and they feel they, they feel warm and feel very fun. And that is what Nintendo gives to people. And like I like I mentioned just now, Pokemon their household their household brand. Uh, obviously, everyone has heard a lot about uh, Pokemon, even though they only just recently launched the Pokemon Go because it is a very famous and popular childhood game. And um, the characters, the popular characters, house, household characters that I mentioned before, Mario and Zelda, this is Mario. People feel excited when they see this or when they play when they play this uh, play a game which involves this character. 80% of them actually feel excited and that is one of the results that we have yielded. Right, uh, I will pass to my group mate next for the marketing communications platforms. Thank you, Alan. Now, next we would like to take a look at one of the marketing communication platforms and we would like to recommend and to see the, how we are able to integrate the, uh, the IMC into the uh, so called the whole promotion and the communication within the, with the audiences. First of all, we would like to identify the objective of the IMC First of all, we would like to put in the where we would like to use the concept of color to give a so-called five C in the objective. However, the cost is actually excluded from it because it's not included here. So first thing is coverage, the contribution, the commonality, and the complementarity. So this is what we're talking about. Coverage is we're talking about how many target audience that we are able to reach by the communication option. Second is contribution, is what is the likely impact of the communication option on the sales and the brand equity building. Third, the commonality. This is designed to create a communication effect so that to achieve the objectives as well as focus on other communication options. And lastly, the complementarity is how much of a consumer decision journey is able to cover by the communication option. Therefore, we are targeting to the certain audiences with differentiated to two different groups. First, the consumer group, at all engaged consumer, they can accept everything. The receptive message can be anything. Second group of the consumer is a moderately engaged. They have a so-called a will to search more information to reveal, and they have an interest to be the so-called to be the consumer in the gaming markets. Third is a highly engaged. They give full attention to what happened in the trend and what happened in the gaming market. The next major group will be business group. We will focus on the suppliers, especially hardware and the software developer, business partners, as well as social network and the media, which refer them as a third-party website. <clears throat> Here we can see that we actually classify the major platform as advertising, uh, online social, sales promotion, and events and uh, experience. Where advertising, they have a printed materials like here, and the broadcast ads. Online social <coughs> and, and social will be referred to the social media like YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and blogger. We will refer to them as third-party website who are able to give a so-called a review on our products and the games itself. And the website is a company website. How we are able to get these people to search our website in, a, in order to search more information and aware about our product. Thirdly, will be a sales promotion like here. You can see the discount and early, but how this kind of a so-called IMC able to get them to aware about our product and, and, and the brand itself. Most importantly, the events experience, the game expo and the trial play, which we bring together the business and the consumer group together in order to collaborate with each other in order to, to explore further opportunities. Next, we'd like to have a look on the level of influences and likeness about the uh, brand of the pro uh, brand and the product of Nintendo. However, we classify into three categories where we can see here is the uh, exp exhibition, uh, ex ex exhibition trial play where we would like to target to the, uh, uh, to the fully engaged customer because they tend to find more information and would like to have a so-called purchase decision how they are able to use the so-called uh, channel to orchestrate the, the purchase journey 
Secondly, the blogger and the website where we refer to the third parties as I mentioned. But the thing is, we have to understand the moderately engaged consumer that tend to look for information and to do more research on what they would like to after. Therefore, this particular IMC would like to target to the uh, moderate engaged people. But we can see that PBS and the printed material is more to uh, create an awareness. We use guerrilla marketing to post everything in on, on everywhere to get them an awareness to understand that where our position, the product and the brand is actually positioned and act, to let them know that we are exist and you can choose us as your, your purchase option. And therefore, we come up with a product launch because we all know that Nintendo will come up with a new product called Nintendo Switch by the year 2017. And from here, we would like to get more food, we would like to get deeper insight on what consumer group or the business group is to understand about this new product from the perspective of enjoyment here, um, sharing experience and eagerness to use. And according to our research and survey, and most of the responses about this product, I said they're very interested to adopt this product. And most importantly, they found the sharing uh, of the experiences. We actually have a, a lot of room of improvement here. So we would like to use IMC. How we are able to use IMC to get these people involved, to share the interactive, to improve the so-called level here. And the adjoinment, most of the so-called responses have found that the new product able to bring them fun. And therefore, we come up with another so-called integration uh, of marketing communication for the consumer. As you can see that advertising here, we separate into the all engaged, moderate engaged, and the highly engaged. Some of these actually overlap each other, but the thing is, we would like to have a sort of object to cover a more objective here. As we can see, advertising, sales promotion, even at events and experience on online and social, they all have a different approach to the different group of a customer, however, this is one of our objectives, we would like to showcase the commonality and to see that how we are able to bring the identical, a consistent message to the consumer group. Next, we would like to see the business at our best later. However, we do, we do wait our business partner, a very important partners in promoting the, uh, the brand and the product itself. Therefore, as we can see, advertising is one of them. We can post our, most of our, you know, the product and the brand itself and the advertising like a magazine, a social network, or a game forum. Next, the events and experience, trade show, and the game expo is what we mentioned just now. It's very important because that is the place, there is a so-called meeting point for the consumer and the business to meet each other and explore further opportunities. PR and publicity, this is very, uh, uh, very important because we can have a seminar to distribute the media kit to create news and how we are able to use press agentry to get the industry and the consumer group to know that our is the brand and the product existence. So therefore, we'd like to conclude our presentation here. And uh, we are thank you very much for your valuable time to spend with us in the presentation and we hope you have a pleasant day. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.